In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best coverage defenses in Madden 23 that can slow down any offense with effectiveness. Now, if you are new to the channel, if you want to learn my entire Nickel 33 Cub defensive ebook, make sure to join our Patreon. The link is going to be down in the description below. I think that the Nickel 33, in my personal opinion, is a defense that is incredibly equipped from a pressure perspective a run defense perspective, as well as a coverage perspective to be able to counter a lot of different metas that you are going to be facing. So again, if you want to learn the entire um, defensive ebook, make sure that you join my Patreon. The link is in the description below. But what we're going to do is we're in the 46 playbook. We're going to come down here. We're going to turn our zone coverage to match in our coaching adjustments. And we're going to go to the nickel 3-3 Cub, and we are going to go ahead and um, put the Cover 4 Show 2 as our audible, uh, or as one of our audibles. Now, um, real quick, I did also want to let you guys know, um, in honor of Mike Leach, just in memory of him, I did release a uh, Air Raid offensive ebook today for our Patreon members. So again, if you want to get access to any of that stuff, it's all in the Patreon. The link's in the description. It's only 10 bucks to become a member. Okay, so... Cover 4 show 2 is in our audibles. We're going to audible down from the nickel 3-3 three, three normal. And the reason we're going to do that is because we're going to get better coverage uh, and better adjustments even more over. Okay. Now, what I recommend is I actually have deep out zone knockout on all four of my back four secondary players. My cornerbacks, my safeties, those guys have them. Now, the other thing that we're going to be, that's kind of uh, important to know, is I actually have deep route knockout on my two safeties down here in the nickel 3-3. Three, three. That allows me to cross man them, and they can play decent in terms of late um, rallying late to the ball. And then I also have Rod Woodson with deep, uh, deep route KO as well. These abilities really help make this scheme better. It's good without abilities. But with abilities, it is also very helpful, okay? So how are we going to run this defense? Well, it's really simple. What I like to do is we're going to hard flat both of our linebackers. Now, what this allows me to do is when I hard flat my linebackers, then I am now able to take my slot cornerback, and I can do a lot of different things with him. What I like to do is man him up on, when I play bunch, I might, and again, you can change this depending on what your opponent does. But what I like to do is typically just man him up on the number three receiver in any formation. For example, against bunch, that's going to be the tight end. And what you're going to see is this is going to stop almost everything they can do from bunch. And we're just lurking in the middle of the field. Now, if you're ever worried about the running back giving you any kind of trouble uh, on wheel routes, you can go ahead and put these guys in curl flats. And what that's going to do is oftentimes these curl flats are going to match uh, the wheel route, as you saw right there. And you also have, again, those safeties and those secondary players coming over to help. Now, when you play a formation like Bunch, another really good adjustment uh, for something like what Bunch can do is you can just take that guy and man him up on the Bunch receiver. So now all I have to do is if they run a drag, then yes, I need to help on that. But then we have a lot of help in the back end to be able to help vertically in this example. Now, another thing that makes this a really, really good adjustment is we could do all kinds of stuff on the back end because we know that our outside quarter is going to match well. Then this allows us to you know, do things like maybe we want to do a hard flat to the bunch side, a curl flat to the back side for the running back, and then you know maybe we want to go ahead and just man up the running back um, to kind of just make sure that he can't hurt us and any, anything like that. And so as you see here, again, same basic thing, and we're able to play pretty solid defense against the bunch. Now I want to show this against a couple different formations that you're going to face. One of those formations is a spread set or two by two sets. How do you defend uh, spread or two by two? What I like to do is whenever I'm defending spread, I love to, play, uh, to be base aligned uh, so that I can always have the threat of pressure. And then the other thing is I love to man up the running back. So I'm going to take that slot cornerback, and you'll notice that you can actually cross man him onto the number three receiver in the formation, which in this example is the, four, is the running back, right? Number 88, Michael Irvin, is the number one receiver. 83, Darren Waller is the number two receiver. And then Barkley is the number three receiver. 
If you go to the left side, Waddle is the number one, Cup is the number two, but there's no number three. So again, we just want to kind of take away that number three receiver so he can't hurt us. And then everything else we're going to be able to kind of rally to and play really, really well. Now, the beauty of match coverage, what I love about it is, especially specifically this year, I think cover four quarters is really good. Um, when you pair with deep out zone knockout, what that's going to do um, for, for you is it's going to allow them to actually knock out corner routes, crossers, deep, deep routes that can sometimes cook match coverage. But the other thing that this allows you to do is because we're playing a cover four quarters based defense, I think personally it's a little bit harder to bug out quarters, uh, quarter zones when you have these deep out zone knockouts. Because not, we can also easily adapt this and turn this essentially into a cover three defense. For example, if I wanted to play a cover three defense, all I would need to do is basically do something like this. I'm just going to put you know outside thirds out there. And then I can man up that slot and I still have flat protection. And now I have a yellow zone, right? You know, maybe do something like this. Um, you know, we can easily ad adapt quarters because of the ability that we have within the formation to utilize zone coverage and those route KOs will still actually matter. Um, whereas the man coverage, if you're using KOs, you pretty much have to stick to running man coverage to get them to act up. But the beauty of zone knockouts is you can actually um, you can actually knock out the ball as and you can play match and man coverage. Bunch tight end. I you know as you think about what am I going to do to set up a defense for this? Basically exactly the same, right? We're going to just man up that slot onto that player. And then what I actually like to do against bunch tight end, just because of the nature of the formation is you know we might want to cross man the tight end or we you know we can do some glitchy adjustments right but really this basic adjustment is really effective um, because what quarters is going to do is it's going to funnel everything back into where your user defender already is and that's the beauty of the coverage defense now if you want to not run this as a match defense i'm glad you stuck around to the end because you can actually get a lot of value um, out of this defense without actually having to use it as a match. So we're going to go cover four, show two. We're going to put our flat zones on five and we're going to shave them underneath. So what you're going to see is now we have hard flats on both sides that are going to go to five yards. And then we're going to start adjusting this defense as we want it. So same basic thing. I'm just going to man this guy up on whoever I think is going to be the corner route, for example. So right here, do something like this. And now you see I'm able to help there. And you see that this is a pretty balanced um, approach to defense. Now, another way that we could also do this is kind of create a basic uh, kind of a makeshift cover six. We want to run cover four to the wide side, cover six to the short side. So, for example, it might look something like this, where we have that cover six coverage to that right side. And then on this left side, we have that man coverage to be able to help us out that way. You know, so as you kind of create this, this is all adaptable. Um, but the beauty of cover for coverage is it's a great foundation to adjust out of. And like I said, if you want to run match or if you want to run a zone drop variation of it, just by manning up the slots um, that are going to be running these corner routes, it's going to make it harder for those corner routes to be open. The other thing that you have with this, like I said, is if you turn it into a cover six, then now we can drop a zone. We can drop a yellow zone to help us out over the middle of the field. So now I've got some help in the middle of the field. I'm able to kind of pass things off. And you see how good this defense can be. So whether you want to run cover four show two as a zone drop defense or you want to run as a match defense, I think this defense affords you a lot of flexibility. And if you want to learn more about how to run this defense um, to the best of its ability, make sure to check out our Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. And again, I just released a brand new ebook today. We're going to be releasing... Uh, some more stuff this week for you guys. Make sure you're in the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. If you want to sign up, head down to the description below and click the link down below.